The Halloween pumpkin grab is back and the public is coming out here to the farms. They're here to find the best, the finest pumpkins that farms have to offer while farms are working to make a profit. We've been selling a lot more pumpkins. We haven't really increased our prices over the years. Pumpkin sales in the last five years have risen 34%. This year, Anderson Farms has over 72 types of pumpkins and gourds to choose from. Last year was their biggest season with more than 84,000 people coming to their family's farm. Other people outside the farming industry are jumping on board the fall season train. Colorado Fright Fest owner started his own haunted house last year. I started doing this because I wanted Halloween to be fun for, fit for families and kids and we started doing it out of our home and we had a great response from that. Many of these venues start preparing for the season months in advance. Well the pumpkins we plant shortly after Memorial Day so then it's just spend the summer uh, irrigating and cultivating and working with them but then Somewhere usually around Labor Day we start setting up for this. But some farmers are worried about liability in the event someone gets injured, a costly liability that can end a farm for good. Preparation and time management aren't the only thing these farmers are worried about. A new bill was passed this summer that gives farms less liability if anything were to happen on their property. You know, they have the equine bill here and it's going to help agritourism. It's going to help Colorado, I believe. And so I think it's a great thing for everyone in this state. And Visitors to the farm aren't always as careful as they should be. People don't realize the dangers of some things. Agritourism is a new term related to agricultural recreation activities. The bill will help to encourage activity at these venues. So far this year has been very successful for multiple farms across the state. From New Scene Boulder, I'm Tessa Saval.